Now, as if it wasn't clear enough that President Trump would love nothing more than to be the dictator of the United States, we now have some video of a surprise interview from Fox and Friends uh, in which President Trump told Steve Ducey uh, that he would love to see the same kind of reverence from, quote unquote, his people that the dictator of North Korea, Kim Jong-un, gets from his own people. In fact, we've got that video. Let's take a look. I mean, Did they talk yeah, about that yesterday. I would, I would have him. Yeah, I think it's something that could happen. Yeah. Hey, he's the head of a country, and I mean, he is the strong head. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone think anything different. Right. He speaks, and his people sit up at attention. I want my people to do the right. same. Well, mm, he's so strong. He's so strong. I love how strong Kim Jong Un is, and he's so strong that when he gets up and he talks, everybody sits up and pays attention. Well, that's because if they don't, they get murdered. <laughs> Again, Kim Jong-un is running an impressive dictatorial regime where you are forced to listen. And if you're not, again, you're either executed or you're thrown into a, a work camp where you likely die. So, yeah, okay. But anyway, uh, to Trump, Trump's an idiot, so I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt of being really, really dumb. But here's the thing about him. He wants to be beloved by the people. We know that. See, he wants to be beloved while he runs a scam on them in order to get richer. And that's what the entire Trump presidency is really all about, is I want to run a scam so I can make some money so I can pay back whoever I own or whoever I owe. Maybe, you know, Russians, if I owe the Russians some money or if I owe the banks some money or whatever, and that I can't just go bankrupt for the 80th time. I would just want to do a scam. Oh, shit, it looks like I won the presidency. What do I do now? Oh, it turns out I really, really like the attention. I really like the adulation. I, I, I love the, the masses that are, that are saying, Trump, Trump, Trump. Hey, you know what? I, don't blame, I guess in, some part of me doesn't blame him because that kind of thing is, it, it would be intoxicating. But to somebody who's an egotistical narcissist like the president, well... That, that thing can lead to some, I guess, lead down some bad roads. But uh, look, anyway, he says, wow, you know, I wish my people were, would do that, just like Kim Jong-un. Well, as I said before, if anybody criticizes Kim Jong-un or the government of North Korea, well, then they go to forced labor camps or, or, they're, or they're murdered, their family is murdered, or they just disappear. I'm really hoping that Donald Trump doesn't actually know that. Which brings me to this interesting backpedal later on. Uh, asked about his comment on Kim Jong-un and his people standing for him, President Trump said he was just kidding. Oh no, I was kidding. No, I don't actually want people to stand up like, you know, they're forced to for Kim Jong-un. No, no, no. You just don't understand my sarcasm. And by the way, uh, when asked by a CNN reporter, uh, he then followed it up by saying, you're the worst. Fake news, CNN. Here you go, asking me a question and didn't don't understand sarcasm. Well, let me show you a different angle of the, of the same video. And I want you guys to tell me whether or not you believe that it is sarcasm. Uh, could happen. I mean, they talked about yeah, that yesterday. I would, I would have him. Yeah, I think it's something that could happen. Yeah. Hey. He's the head of a country, and I mean, he is the strong head. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone think anything different. Right. He speaks, and his people sit up at attention. I want my people to do right. the same. Doesn't sound like sarcasm to me. No, what happened is probably later on, someone was like, you can't say that. Dude, you cannot say that. That is a dictatorial regime. They are forced to do that. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, God. Oh, no, I can't, I can't, backpedal, backpedal, backpedal. Well, at least he was smart enough to come back and say, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have said that, uh, sarcasm. It was just sarcasm, it's a joke. You guys can't tell sarcasm? It's, it's fake news, sad. Look, our president is an ignorant man-child, we, we know that. But he's a man-child with fascist tendencies, authoritarian tendencies, dictatorial tendencies. Those two things are not a good co combination. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. 
If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.